While Adam and Jamie point the finger, the others are handling a different spectrum entirely. They're hot to trot with thermal motion, an alarm that's triggered by temperature. All people emit infrared energy in the form of heat. So what this does is it takes a room, it gets a snapshot of what the room is, and if it sees some large chunk of its picture having more infrared energy, it'll trip the alarm. Watch what happens with Tori. As soon as he enters the room, his body heat is picked up by the sensor, and the alarm starts to sizzle. This one's going to be tough to beat, but the team does have a secret weapon, a thermal camera. You ready to go? Get my thermal signature? Yep. yep. So we're going to do the baseline first, and it'll be front, side, and then back. All right. The thermal camera also recognizes different temperatures, Bye. and it shows exactly why Tori triggered the sensor. Okay, turn to the side. The skin on his hands and face are aglow at 98 degrees, but even his clothes are much hotter than the background blue 63. Now back. So right now I'm seeing a lot of radiation from his neck and a little bit on his shoulders. To stand a chance of beating the alarm, they need to get Redneck Tori's output to match that of the blue room temperature, making him thermically invisible. That's cool. And first up, they're going to chill Tori with a CO2 fire extinguisher. Carrie's not warming to this idea. I foresee two problems just to start with using the CO2 extinguisher to mask Tori's thermal signature. First of all is getting consistent temperature over his entire body is going to be extremely difficult being that it's just sort of a blast that comes at him. Um, the second problem I see is the fact that he's going to heat it right back up and he could be in the middle of the room when that happens. And the third is that it's dangerous. Do not spray your friends with CO2 fire extinguisher. It's not a good idea. Okay. Leave it to the experts. Okay, ready. So possible frostbite. Let's do it. Hit him. Carrie gives Tori the cold shoulder as she lets fly with the cooling CO2. And almost immediately, his heat output plummets. Great. Go for it. Okay, alarm is armed. With all the hot reds and yellows gone, will Tori still register on the thermal detector? So with this method busted, they need a new plan to come in from the cold. Coming up on Mythbusters, will mud beat a thermal motion sensor? Back with a temperature-sensitive sensor, chilling Tori with a CO2 fire extinguisher didn't make him thermically disappear. So now, the team is diving headlong into a new tactic that might. Well, up next is a neoprene suit, and hopefully that will mask his uh, thermal signature. The neoprene suit aims to tackle this myth in a different way. Wherever the neoprene crosses you, it's like it disappears. Like a ninja. Rather than alter Tori's temperature, the insulating wetsuit should prevent his body heat from escaping, meaning he won't register on this thermal camera or the sensor in the room. Whoa, that works great. Dude, you do look like a ninja. I think this is going to be my new outfit on Mythbusters. Once Tori's covered up all the nooks and crannies, will the wetsuit sink or swim? All right, here I go. With the alarm ringing, Tori heads back to the test zone for a post-mortem. When you first started, this suit was totally blue and blended into the background perfectly. But now, I can totally see the outline of it. And the, you know, the longer I stay in the suit, the more, more of the heat from my body is going to transfer to the suit. So with the wetsuit sunk, what's next for this hothead? Well, in the M5's flower beds, Carrie and shop assistant Terry are trying to dig up the third possible solution. Well, in choosing methods to fool the thermal motion sensor, we cannot ignore some of the classics, such as one utilized by our great governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, in the first Predator movies, where he slathered himself in mud in order to fool the thermal sensors of the Predator. All right, where do we get this mud? That's what I want to know. It is working. That's working really well. It's working? First impressions are encouraging, 
the mud body mask is masking Tori's thermal signature. He's slowly blending in with the background. You try not to shove it in my ear canal. I feel like you should scoop it up and dump it on his head. <laughs> that sounds yeah, like a great exactly. idea, Grant. They keep plastering him until he's got more dirt than a mud wrestler in a monsoon. I'm going in. Ready. Like that? Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, it's looking like the predator myth is terminated. The mud, like the neoprene, has warmed up too fast, meaning that Tori's heat seeped through and soiled the sensor. And Tori spotted another problem. <laughs> If I was trying to break into a building covered in mud, um, I, I think it'd be probably pretty easy for the police to find me because they just follow my tracks. For the mud, it's hasta la vista, baby. Tori got down and dirty to beat a thermal motion alarm. Oh, yeah. It's totally worth it. With a zero success rate so far, Carrie's had a brainwave. You can pump heat into a room and bring the temperature of the room up to skin temperature, and then the person walking through the room will be completely undetected by the thermal motion sensor. Up to now, they've needed to mask the body's thermal signature because humans are hotter than room temperature. Okay, opening the gas. But by increasing that room temperature through the ceiling vent to 98 degrees, Grant should be able to drop right in. But there's a problem. Okay. Well, what's happening inside of the room, and you can see this on the infrared camera, is a huge hot stream just flowing right past it, in, dumping into the room and setting off the sensor. So for take two, they bring the heater down to ground level and have it set to low. But they're not the only changes. As a definitive test of this method, there's really only one way to do it, and that is to enter the room commando style. And by commando style, I mean naked. Or close to it. That's right, ladies. It's your lucky day as Grant strips for science. He reckons that while the room will get to human body temperature, his clothing won't. The only way for him to emit exactly 98 degrees, sadly, is to strip to his boxers. All right, Grant. We're at 96 degrees. Grant crawls into position, waits for those extra two degrees, and then... Yeah, you look good. ...sets off the alarm. It seems that this sensor is just too sensitive. Even a near-naked Grant can't sneak past. Well, next up is the pane of glass, and the science behind it is that visible light can pass easily through, but infrared is mostly blocked. And since this sensor is looking at infrared energy, it has a very good chance of masking Tori's body heat signature. In theory, the thick glass should finally crack this alarm. Uh, that's cool. Blocking that is totally heat. blocking your infrared. Hold it in front of your face. Yeah! Wow! Walk towards the camera with it. The glass works like a charm. Everything it covers is thermically invisible. Well, the big pane of glass worked great, but the only problem is carrying a big pane of glass through a duct or wherever you're trying to break in probably wouldn't be very practical. So what I propose is we try a different approach. Because walking up to the alarm with glass in hand isn't really realistic, Grant's building a special glass-holding clamp. All right, we're going to time this one, and I'm starting it now. He'll use the clamp to drop a frame of glass over the sensor through the ceiling vent. But it ain't that clear cut. It looks like they're having trouble getting the angle on the, uh, the sensor, getting the arm down into position to actually put the frame on the sensor. With Grant unable to contort to the angle of the dangle, Carrie tries her luck instead. That's looking good. Nice work. Carrie was able to hook the frame over the sensor, and they are now entering the room. And that was under two minutes. At last, they're in, in true heist style. So the myth that thermal motion alarms are unbeatable is busted. <laughs>